the sun and the moon. What causes the moon to run away from the sun? A. The sun was playing with her. B. The sun became angry. C. The sun became arrogant. D. The sun wanted to beat her. What happened when the sun became angry to the moon? A. The sun eats the moon. B. The sun seeks comfort to the moon. C. The sun stays calm. D. The sun chases the moon. What is the result of the sun becoming angry to the star? A. The sun cut him up into small pieces. B. The sun abandoned the large star. C. The sun disowned him. D. The sun challenged the large star. What is the consequence of cutting the large star into small pieces? A. There has been no peace. B. There has been no light since then. C. There have been many stars. D. There has been war from the skies. What word best describes the attitude of the gigantic crab? A. Impatient B. Stubborn C. Quiet D. Soft-hearted What might have happened if the gigantic crab swallowed the moon? A. The crab will be satisfied B. There will be total darkness in the evening C. The people will seek revenge for the moon. D. The moon will seek for help on the sun. Is it possible to have a gigantic crab deep in the sea just like the one stated in the story? A. Yes, because what lies deep in the sea is unknown. B. Yes, because the deep sea is not yet explored. C. No, because it is just a story. D. No, because it is only based on the imagination of the author. Do you think the actions of the gigantic crab had anything to do with what is happening deep in our ocean? A. Yes, because the gigantic crab is powerful. B. Yes, because he takes the control of the deep sea. C. No, because natural disasters sometimes happen. D. No, because it is illogical. How did the author express the idea of being disrespectful? A. 
by stating that the gigantic crab tried to swallow his mother. B. By emphasizing that the moon chased the sun. C. By declaring that the sun became angry at the large star. D. By saying that people beat on their gongs. What is the moral lesson of the story? A. Be obedient to our parents. B. Be kind to our parents. C. Be affectionate to our parents. D. Be admirable to our parents.